good morning i am jasmine one of the registered nurses working in this hospital ward uh, how are you feeling uh, mano today oh not good nurse oh what happened mano see i feel totally weakness and uh, see my condition how it is even uh, the loss of appetite like uh, i can't take any more food and all uh, even though i feel to have food i don't know what happened to me oh i can understand your feelings mano and i acknowledge them and um, can you uh, describe me more detail about your diet pattern regarding your exercise and uh, uh, can you give me the short detail of course nurse um, i do not cook uh, anything at my home uh, usually i get food from uh, like online food uh, that's my habit and uh, what are the things which are like like um, uh, fast food i used to order that okay but uh, uh, mano here i want to suggest you that uh, try to avoid the um, foods getting from the outside hotel foods like uh, fast food and try to cook uh, cook more uh, uh, foods uh, the quantity of your uh, making food at home you have to increase uh, okay nurse uh, okay? your uh, your words are very uh, helpful for me Uh, even though i feel uh, to cook seldom but i can't <clears throat> okay and one more question uh, uh, do you know what condition is go going on with you do you understand what is the problem with you uh, no sister i know that my uh, myself is a uh, little overweight uh, and uh, some the emaciated my health condition that's all nurse okay. rather than that i don't know anything about myself if you okay. could here that I... would be uh, helpful for me okay here i uh, want to explain to you that what's going with you why you are staying in this hospital it, you have uh, they suggested you the disease called diverticulitis diverticulitis means there is a small pouch forming in your digestive lining of the cells are oh, you able it... to follow me yes nurse you can continue uh, when you are eating like this type of foods like uh, triggering uh, foods it will be uh, increase your pain ab uh, pain ab abdomen pain and also your um, feeling discomfort while you are taking like this kind of food like uh, caffeine uh, chocolates and also some of the spicy foods from the outside that's why oh, uh, i am uh, stressing on you to cook on your own own food okay okay Good. and uh, can you ask you uh, i'm sorry to ask it's your personal but uh, here i wanted to ask here um do you smoke or uh, drink no uh, sister i don't have no i don't have any more habit of uh, like that that's very good point here and i, I appreciate that one it's a good and uh, can i uh, can i more further more uh, how your family network is the family is with you or friends that can help uh, for you to bring foods for you uh definitely nurse uh i am alone at home like uh, my wife left me uh, like uh, she divorced from me and uh, i have a daughter she, she who lives uh, just near to the neighboring town and uh, oh, friends are very rarely they uh, approach approaching me like all together i could say that uh, i'm alone at home no one is there to look after me and oh, uh, i feel that since uh, that may be the reason uh, like uh, like i am alone alone at home i can't cook and uh, even um, take care of myself oh i'm sorry to uh, 
uh, hear about that you are experiencing this one, this situation. Uh, so anyway, you, I suggest you to do so. Uh, like uh, you, you can occupy your mind also while doing cooking on your own. Uh, it's a bit beneficial okay. too. Okay, okay. Then uh, do you have a exercising a habit every day? Uh, no, sister. Uh, I think uh, two weeks back, I just started to have one uh, gym uh, gymnasium. I just went to there, and even though I can't go regularly there, uh, like some uh, like I don't know about some uh, problem is existing on me, and uh, that also I just stopped. Meanwhile, I stopped that. Oh, it's a very good point that you said that you recently started uh, exercise. But I suggest you also there is a, a gym facility and you can use this uh, gym uh, daily uh, per daily basis. Uh, okay. It will go uh, and there will be a trainer and they can uh, give you some more exercise. And uh, there Fine. is uh, some of the clubs like uh, Lawn Bowls uh, Club. If you join this gym and the, this joining with, together with the club, oh, it will it's... be very benefit. And you can um, get uh, some more new friends also as you feel uh, okay, okay. lonely in the home. Yeah, I feel it's that will be better. Uh -huh, good? Yeah, good. Mm. Yes, yes, it's good. The good is a lot, lot. Yes, yes. Okay, continue, that's continue. good. I'm, I'm very happy that you are uh, uh, accepting and uh, getting uh, good about all my points. Uh, that which I am suggesting to you. Uh, see this, I feel right now that uh, someone is there to care about me and uh, like uh, uh, providing some good information about myself to care, my health. Uh, so I'm uh, very ready to uh, curious uh, nurse. Yeah, that's good. That's a very good point in you uh, to improve from this uh, disease condition and you can uh, modify your lifestyle and also, uh, it will lead to uh, change in your lifestyle and it will bring improved in your good health. Okay. Let me ask you one question. Uh, yes, yes, sure. Yes, uh, sure. Do you feel that uh, after following these certain things which you share with me, uh, can I have some rec uh, record from this, uh, the disease name which you uh, uh, told about? Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Uh, I, because I have seen in my experience that so many uh, patients coming and ad admitting like this condition and uh, I was giving the, like this suggestion, like uh, what all the triggering foods to avoid and how to improve your healthy habits. Uh, this are all when they're keeping up uh, daily basis, it will be uh, beneficial from, uh, for them and they, they are getting soon relief from this uh, discomfort in the abdomen and they're uh, improving in their condition and they're getting discharged and they're uh, living happily in their uh, reg regular day-to-day -day life. Okay, if all the points, if try to uh, you keep up in a daily basis, you will sure, I assure you that you will give, uh, you will get a good lifestyle changes. Yes, yes, Is that I'll, sounds I'll, good? My, my, yeah, 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 yes, it's really good. And I will okay. try to do it. Nurse. And, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. The the time is over already. Okay, so you have uh, exceeded, uh, you know, the time. But I would like to give you the feedback now. Okay. Um, all right. <coughs> Let's go ahead with that. Firstly, all right. Let me give you the feedback in regards to the mistakes that you have committed, and then I will provide you the areas of improvement and your areas of strength, and finally the assessment along with the score okay firstly uh, the way you have introduced okay your introduction was good enough i'm happy with that so you were able to introduce yourself in the polite manner and you were able to provide you know the re requested details you know properly so that's really good i'm going to mute you know uh, manus uh, yeah so so that uh, manus uh, speaker so that we can hear properly okay so the first thing is you were able to provide the introduction very well. And the other thing is sympathy was 
demonstrated throughout the role play i'm very happy with that sympathy was demonstrated throughout the role play conversation you have done, done a wonderful job as far as sympathy was concerned okay in this role play conversation that is one of the best things about your speaking okay and uh, for example okay so you used you were able to acknowledge the patients you were able to acknowledge the patients concerns all right using you're able to acknowledge the patients concerns and uh, showed some uh, respect or response you can say showed some response accordingly okay so that's really good all right you showed respect you were able to respond to their concerns and things like this so that's really good okay but some of the errors were committed by you throughout the role play conversation i'll tell them one by one so you said can you give me short details okay can you give me short details all right about blah 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 whatever it is you said okay instead of saying can you give me you can say can you please you can say can you please all right you can say can you please okay provide um some details regarding and then you you say something whatever it is okay in brief all right or briefly instead of saying short details it's better to say could you please tell me about your food habits in brief or could you please briefly tell about your food habits something like that you know you could have used them and then another problem with your speaking is that you were using longer sentences in most part of your role play conversation that is very bad i'll tell you why when you have to explain something to a patient who is a non medical professional by and large it is really important that you use short sentences and convey the information effectively and use the connecting phrases okay you need to pronounce the words accurately you have you need to speak politely and you have to use the sympathy in everything however the length of sentences was really long and it was not good enough because the patient was not able to understand what message you are conveying do you know what i mean so it's better to yes. shorten the sentences use connecting phrases give pauses okay another problem is you didn't give enough pauses after every sentence okay that's not good so you have been continuously speaking without giving enough pauses between two sentences mm -hmm. that is another problem you can't just keep on speaking like this it's not good and uh, the mm -hmm. next one is okay let's go ahead with the next one so the next one is you said i want to suggest you that try to okay try to avoid and then you said whatever you want to say after that okay so this sentence is incorrect okay there are couple of mistakes in this sentence okay first thing is let's say the first one is okay first one is uh, you should say i would like to okay let me copy and paste it here all right and then i will change it okay so you got to say i would like to all right it is always recommended to use the formal language in your mm -hmm. role play conversation as much as you can all right i would like to suggest you that try okay i would like to recommend you to try okay i would like to suggest you to try okay that's it so use this one i would like to mm -hmm. suggest you to try to avoid something otherwise you can say i would like to recommend you to avoid okay you don't need to say try as well i mean it makes it really Uh, complicated so you can keep it simple i would like to suggest you to avoid that seat something you know okay. whatever you want to say so keep it short keep it simple so use the lay level language okay don't use the high frequency technical words and um, okay. you you used one more question okay and this is incomplete okay you need to produce the grammatically complete sentences you have to say i have one more question okay that's fine i have another question so you can say i have another question to ask you i have another question to ask you something like that can i ask you can i ask you can i proceed okay all right yes, may I proceed so you just tell this and then you have to but you 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 are not able to complete this sentence okay this is wrong all right and then you said you have they suggested all right you said this one you have they suggested okay um 
you know this is not good this is grammatically incorrect so you should say either you have or you should have used a they suggested okay only one of them can be used but unfortunately you have used both of them which comes under the false starts okay false starts should not be committed okay it should be avoided all right you shouldn't do that okay another thing is okay one good thing you have done in between is that you are able to make sure the patient understands the, the information you are asking the patient you know the questions to confirm their understanding so which is really good okay so you are able to make sure that the patient understood all the important information so that's really good all right i'm very happy with this area so there are a couple of areas where you have excelled well but there are many areas where you have to improve a lot okay Mm -hmm. and grammar is one among them okay right let's go to the next one used it will be increase okay you said it will be increase but on in this point of uh, conversation you should have used it will increase that's the correct sentence okay but you have said it will be increased that's not good all right mm -hmm. and then you said mm -hmm. your pain and then your abdominal pain or abdomen pain okay your pain and then you said abdomen pain and that's not good so you should say your abdominal pain that's it yes, that's it okay so don't try to produce false starts that's not good mm -hmm. all right okay. and then you said cook on okay you you said cook on okay just a second so you said cook on your own foods okay cook on your own foods this is wrong cook this is wrong mm -hmm. yeah you can prepare your you know your foods on your own or you can say you can prepare foods you can cook on your own that's it you can cook on your own that's it otherwise you can say you can prepare uh, your foods yourself or on your own you can use that yes but this one is wrong okay and then you said it is a good you didn't say anything else after that it is a good you only you say it is a good it is a good you know you said it is a good and that's wrong i mean you should have said it is a good thing that's what you should have said because you know the mm. patient told that he started exercising and you said it is it is a good that's it you shouldn't you mm. didn't say it is a good thing it's a good change mm. it's a good initiative yes. so you should have said something after that because it is incomplete and that's not good okay and then you yes. said can help for you are there any um, you know friends who can help for you he said who can help for you that's wrong who can help you that's it isn't it who can help you that's right am i right don't mm -hmm. say help for you that's wrong help you that's it mm -hmm. and then you said uh, okay what of the next one yes background noises okay background noises such as are uh, were committed in some part of the role play okay one was in the beginning all right and then then uh, the other one was um, in the middle okay and then you have said this phrase daily daily basis this is wrong okay so what you should have done was you should have used uh, either daily or on a daily basis okay and just the daily basis is wrong so you should have said either daily or on a daily basis okay is this clear okay yes. don't don't try to convince uh, you know the patient using uh, two different things you know together i mean it's not good they don't make sense all right and then you said it will be benefit you said it will be benefit that's wrong it will be beneficial it will be beneficial because with the will be you need to use an adjective in this case okay long sentences were used by by you which is not good even in the end even in the conclusion part you were using all those long sentences continuously you were not able to use connectivity at all connectivity is one of the worst areas where you have performed it is one of the critical areas for improvement areas mm -hmm. of improvement critical areas of improvement okay that's very bad that's very very bad i can't stress enough on the importance of improving your connectivity you need to use connecting phrases you can't just keep on using only and and also and then you keep on connecting you know those uh, two words only it's not good and then you said this disease condition you said this disease condition 
this disease sorry this disease condition doesn't make sense okay you should say condition of your health isn't it that's what you should have used okay and then the next one was uh, brings improved in your health brings improved in your uh, in good health sorry brings improved in good health this is wrong you should have said it it will it brings improvement in your health isn't it improvement in your health that's what you should have mentioned all right and then the next one is you said uh, how to improve health daily basis so that's another issue okay all right you said uh, how to improve how to improve daily basis that's not correct all right so you should have used on a daily basis okay how to improve your condition on a daily basis okay that's that's what you should have used how to improve your health on a daily basis okay all right what else you have to use another good thing you have done was you were able to motivate the patient like anything so great motivation by the nurse what was noticed in the role play okay so that's really good i'm very happy with that i think in the behavioral point of view you were able to excel really very well i'm very happy with the way that you have been you know motivating that you have been getting the information from the patient that you have been establishing good rapport with the patient that you have been acknowledging you know the patient's concerns and things like that so they are the saving point for you all right but from the language perspective you were not able to perform really very well do you understand what i mean it was okay it was just a kind of i would say below average or maybe close to average okay all right um the other thing is okay you are able to establish good rapport with the patient okay i'm really happy with that okay that's really good okay and uh, remember that you need to give passes you know it's really important okay you have to do that and then you have said is that sounds good that's what you are asking this is wrong you should say does that sound good isn't it that's not mm-hmm. that's not correct okay is that sounds good that's what you have used but that's not correct okay yes sir grammar is not good at all unfortunately you have to work out on all these things okay uh, probably if you can reduce the length of the sentences and use uh, connecting phrases and provide passes in between properly you should have been able to score very well so pronunciation is another area of improvement okay all right so these are the issues so the areas of improvement for you would be grammar and then pronunciation because you need to pronounce them properly give passes and so on and the third one would be the uh, connectivity mm-hmm. and then the final fourth one would be vocabulary you should use more and more formal words okay it's really important that you use formal words okay you have to use formal words all right you can't just simply you know use the informal phrases okay that's not good all right so vocabulary should be improved by using more formal words okay all right let me go ahead with the expected score so what score you can get in this one okay let me see okay so the problem is from the language perspective it's not that good okay and from the behavioral perspective yes you you have scored really well i'm very happy with that okay to me this sounds like a 330 out of 500 grade role play only unfortunately only if you can rectify these issues such as vocabulary grammar connectivity and pronunciation you should be able to get 350 okay okay sir if the people who are watching this video would like to get their first role play and letter assessed at free of cost so they can send an email to me at steve at you can english tutoring.com or on my mobile or whatsapp number that is +6146848087 
I'm based in Australia and I have been helping more than 12,000 students to achieve their desired scores in OET, IELTS and PT academic examinations. If you find this video helpful, please like it and share it with other friends, uh, family, colleagues and other WhatsApp groups. If you wish to get notifications, please become a subscriber to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular notifications. If you would like to get more benefits, you can become a member in my YouTube channel. The details regarding the membership program are available in the comment section of this video. Please go there and have a look at them. If you wish to get maximum benefits, you can become one of the memberships known as the Platinum, where I'm gonna provide you the support in relation to all kinds of uh, sections of the IELTS, OET and PT academic examinations. Um, I thank you so much for watching this video and have a good day. Bye-bye.